different than what I usually do. I'm going to be sharing my studying tips and tricks with you all. So many of you have been requesting this from me from ages and ages and ages and I finally thought it was time that I did this. Both are right around the corner and so are the university examinations. So I thought these tips and tricks will help you guys out in studying and knowing you know how to score good. For my own personal background I scored 95% in my 12th boards and I did my sociology honors from Hindu college and now I'm currently pursuing my executive management program from IIT Delhi. So yes that's a background about my study history and everything. So yes now I'm going to share with you guys some pointers on how I study and what I do to score good. I haven't really calculated how many there are so I will do in the end of the video when I'm done talking because a lot of times when you're talking you tend to get more ideas. This is not a scripted video so yes if you want to know my personal study tips and tricks then please keep on watching. So first things first you have to realize what type of person you are. Are you a morning person or a night person or a day person? Based on that you should schedule whenever you want to study. If you're a morning person but you want to force yourself to study at night you will never be able to do that. You will not be able to concentrate and you will fall asleep like this. So yes make sure you know what kind of a person you are. Generally our generation is like a night person these days. So if you want to study at night time make sure you schedule your studies according to that. Secondly, always remember understanding a concept is better than rote memory. Rote memory or recta is something that will never ever ever help you because you will only remember one part of the holistic picture and when in examining a question that is going to be slightly more twisted and turned, your rote memory will fail you. But if you have understood the concept, you will be able to write something, at least something based on your understanding. So yes, make sure your ears are open when your teacher is explaining something to you. For me, what works the most is when I'm listening to someone and I understand it, I tend to remember it way more better than when I'm actually reading it. And when it comes to reading comes my third point, always ensure that you underline only the important points, do not highlight the whole book, I've seen so many people do it, that's not how you go, underline just a line or two, a single phrase or two and that's it. And my fourth point here would be what I personally love to do in school was when I was going through a page and I realized that there's a question that can, you know, come from these points, I used to write that question on top of that page and you know in the margin that's given the space that's given so if you want to do that you can what you can do is like if from this page I see that I can get a question on you know sources that are corresponding to assets then I will write what are the sources that are corresponding to assets right here so when I am you know revising before my exam I know exactly which question can come from which page this helps because sometimes you can visualize a thing better than just remembering it for me personally, there have been so many times in an exam when I'm trying to remember a point and then I just close my eyes and I try to remember the picture that I would have seen. And when I say a picture, I don't actually mean a photograph but I try to visualize the whole page and then I try to remember which point was where. So yes, your visual memory really helps you enhance your answer and if you can't remember something point wise, just try to visualize how each point was written and it would really benefit you. Now, other really important tip while studying is always keep some munchies around with you guys because whenever your mouth is working your brain automatically works as well it gets activated and you don't feel sleepy by munchies I don't mean something as unhealthy as chips or something like that try to eat more fruits you can also have unbuttered popcorn I love those then you can have you know chia seeds like you know or pre-soaked chia seeds or you can also have flax seeds don't have too much flax seeds or anything healthy which you also like so that you are eating healthy as well as your brain is going to work you can also have nuts but not a lot of nuts keep that in balance so yes always keep something to have while you are you know studying that would keep you awake and concentrate more on your work Another thing that I used to do all the time in school and college was explain a concept to a friend. Now when you explain a concept to a friend, you automatically remember it way better than if you've just written it. So if you explain something to a friend or a family, you should know, role play like a teacher so you know all of the points when you're explaining it to someone. And if you don't know all of the points, then obviously your friend will have some input as well. For me personally, I had this one person, I won't name her, she always used to call me for an exam to like ask me everything and anything and she had so many questions and I used to feel 
so irritated every single time but now i feel that played such an important role because her questions actually made me realize that there were so many more points that i could remember while given an giving an exam as well so it's really good if you and your friend like you pair up with your friend and you say that you know we are going to be having a role play in one question you can be the teacher and in the other question she or he can be the teacher and it will really benefit both of you you both will you know remember things better another point which i want to tell you guys is never have like a very huge studying time like studying for 5 hours straight or 6 hours straight that never really ends up in you retaining anything take short breaks in between say study for like one and a half hour take a half an hour break then study for one and a half hour this way you actually refresh up your memory as you go and then you will be you know able to retain more than what you will be able to retain in a 6 hour straight studying thing a point i think which has been repeatedly said is to not take stress because stress actually does the opposite of what you are trying to do stress will ensure that you forget things more quickly it will not let you retain things because you are so constantly worried about forgetting and when you constantly think about something it actually happens as well so yes do not take stress at the end of the day remember it is just an exam yes it does matter to get like good scores and everything but it's not going to define who you are there are so many parameters of intelligence that no single paper can have a sense of every sort of intelligence in this world so yes do not take so much stress that it's going to hamper your own mind some other things that you can also do is that if you are trying to know more about a concept nowadays youtube has been playing such an important role in all of our lives you can go on youtube and search for these concepts and there will be video tutorials about these concepts so you can go and listen to them as well if you could not or did not want to attend your classes so you can go on to youtube and see those videos and try to understand a concept way more better and you know in a better light because as i said listening to someone makes our memory sharper than actually just reading something so yes try to do that as well and then you can also make a presentation for yourself now in my college what is done is that a professor teaches through presentations and we are sent those presentations again presentations just stimulate your visual memory more and you are able to retain things better so yes those are all of the tips and tricks that I had to share with you guys and I hope these helped you I never made a timetable so I don't have pointers like make a timetable for yourself follow it no study according to when your body allows you and when your brain allows you because only then you will be able to actually retain it and yeah that's gonna be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed this and it was helpful in some or the other way and I will see you guys super soon till then don't forget to follow me on all of my social media because I'm super duper active there and I will see you guys next time Bye!